Apple gave me a new iMac Pro. I'm still mad. The morning after I published my first video about the iMac Pro vase amount woes I had been experiencing, which you should definitely watch by clicking here if you haven't seen them already, I decided to head back to the Apple Store. Why? Well, this might serve as a refresher. Not only did the Genius Bar absolutely destroy the back of my iMac and its stand during the repair, but the brand new VESA kit that they had installed, the Apple Store installed, mind you, broke again. Primarily because, unbeknownst to me, they used blue thread locker, which should not have been used anyway. It's not necessary and was not included in the kit, and makes screws very difficult to remove. But regardless, here I was again, with a broken iMac again. Only this time, it was in much worse cosmetic condition. Thanks, Apple. So I went back to the store. And when I got to the store, I asked to see the managers, and here's the conversation we had. And if I ever put the stand back on, you're gonna see all of this. Absolutely. So I'm just not happy with the quality of the repair. And then um, I can tell that they replaced this mounting hook. So they obviously opened the machine and dropped everything out and swapped right. that back out. But I just like, if that's how the work that we got on here and the stand, like I'm not confident in the quality of the internal repair. I was, I watched this thing kind of through. They were trying to redo it after this, and I looked at his foot and I said, you guys, this is never going to work because these were so yeah. bent, they couldn't grab on. Right. But yeah. this was done for sure. Yes. Like yeah. The outers, I think, was the first time he tried, which is pretty standard. Yeah. But these were definitely us. If that was done by us, we need to take care of it. Yeah. I know that. I saw that. So. Yeah. Can we go look at some options together? <laughs> I do know, like, um, this would bother me. I do know inside... Everything was done really well and it's yeah. put back, because that was one of my concerns when they were putting it back together. I said, hey, if this happened, what's going on in there? And they said, no, it's good, but I looked at it. So I know inside's good, but if you're not happy with the outside, yeah. I understand that as well, so. Okay. Yeah. Well, we've got a couple things that could work for you. Okay. Um, basically, I'm gonna give you some options and then you can choose what works sure. for you. Okay. Um, option one is we redo the, the enclosure. So we order another back housing and we, we take the back housing off, put the new back housing on. We've got a foot on the order um, so that we can make sure we get you a, a good new foot too. Um, I don't know about getting screws, but I'm sure we can work something out. Um, but that's option one. Option two is um, we've got this exact same computer in stock right here in the store and then we end up returning the computer and getting the new I prefer that if you don't mind. <laughs> Uh, when they first showed me this foot, they called me back there and was like, what do we do? And I said, you guys, this is never going to work. Like, these are bent. Yeah. You're, you're trying to engineer something that's out-engineered right now. Like, <laughs> you're never going to get a hold of that mount to do this. So you got to order a new foot. And they're like, okay, we'll order a new foot. And I said, beyond that, and I, that's when I looked at the computer and I said, just be straight up in here. And I'm like, where did these scratches come from? What's what? And they said, well, the outside two was when it came in. The inside two are from trying to do this again. And I said, yeah, that's Order the only computer. reason. That's the only reason I kind of got irked by the whole situation. Is I was just walking out of the parking lot and I was like, "What in the hell?" <laughs> and I, the thing that worried me is if I hadn't caught it, I don't know what would happen in a week when I found out the stand was jacked. I mean, we would have still taken care of you. That's that's why you buy from Apple. <laughs> what do you do for work with this? Uh, I make YouTube videos about Apple products, actually. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of cool. Yeah. So do not make one about this, please. <laughs> Too late. So I did walk out of the store with a brand new iMac, but I asked myself the question, would they have done this for anyone? Now look, I'm a nobody, but my video had picked up a fair amount of traction already when I went into the store, and one of the Apple Store employees mentioned to me that he had already seen the video. Now I'd like to think that Apple would have given a brand new computer to anyone, but given the fact that they tried to send me out of the store with a busted stand and iMac in the first place, hoping that I wouldn't notice even after the manager told the geniuses that, quote, I looked at this foot and I said, you guys, this is never gonna work. I'm not so sure. The story isn't yet over, however, because the next day I got a call from a liaison at Apple Executive Relations, who admitted to me that he was calling me because Apple's social media team had seen my video and the multiple articles written on various websites about the incident and the information had gotten sent up the chain. He asked me first and foremost if the store had replaced my entire computer with a new one, because anything short of that would have been unacceptable. After I confirmed that yes, indeed they had, he asked me if I still had my VESA mount and its screws. Yep. <laughs> I've since been emailed a shipping label so I can send the VESA kit back to Apple's engineering team in Cupertino to examine, because according to him, anything less than perfect performance by the VESA kit is unacceptable. 
Now look, I'm rational enough to recognize that most of this nightmare has been caused by my Apple Store, and that in theory that's an isolated incident. However, Apple corporate is at minimum partially responsible. Why? Well, for one, the VESA kit is terribly designed. I've seen some forum posts claiming that I don't know how to work a screwdriver. Now, as someone that did computer and smartphone repairs for a number of years, I disagree. But even if that were true, how is that my fault? If something that claims to be end-user installable, but is designed in a manner where the average user installing it has a high risk of breaking it, that's not the user's fault. That's Apple's. That's bad design. And for the record, I'm not the only idiot that's had issues removing this thing. I got an interesting email that reads the following. Hey Quinn, I work for a major game developer where I'm closely monitoring the production of multiple teams. As we are transitioning from PCs to Apple development machines, specifically the iMac Pro line, where we utilize multiple vase amount arrays that are at each of our team members' desks, production time is crucial and our Achilles heel has been the mounts failing on installation. Of the eight iMac Pros in one department, Five have needed to be serviced for the vase amount. Five! That's 60%, by the way. Two broke during install, and three during removal. All issues were encountered because of screws. Our IT staff is well-trained and have treated each unit under Apple's guidelines, just to have the mount break. We're excited about the transition to Macs, and look forward to your story helping Apple find a solution. Now, they're a major game developer with trained IT specialists, and they still have the same issue. Now, whether or not you think Apple is good or bad at design and engineering, it's impossible to believe that Apple didn't catch this in their testing. It's my guess that Apple's supplier, who manufactures the mount, either decided to cheap out, save a couple pennies, and increase margins without Apple QCing the delivered product, which would be Apple's fault, or that Apple knowingly shipped these defective VESA units because their cost-benefit analysis determined that retooling and redesigning for this seldom-used VESA mount on an even more seldom-sold iMac Pro would be more expensive than just fixing defective units as they came in also Apple's fault. In either scenario, it doesn't make Apple look good. This embarrassment is amplified further uh, by the fact that Apple is very clearly ill-equipped to provide enterprise-level support for their pro products. Dell, HP, and other PC companies provide immediate and oftentimes on-site support for even low-end products. Meanwhile, Apple fails to provide special support for anything short of enterprise partners. Now, even if you consider this $5,000 plus pro computer to be a consumer machine, which I very clearly disagree with, they still haven't trained their phone nor in-store representatives to handle the newest machine in their lineup. And it wasn't specifically until I told them to give me a new computer that they even offered to do anything. In the end, I spent over six hours on the phone, I took four trips to the Apple Store, and had to do a video that got tons of attention before I got a replacement for the same computer that I paid $5,000 for back in January. And I don't know about you, but that's completely bogus. I'm Quinn of Snazzy Labs. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. If you didn't like this video, well, then the other button will work okay too. Get subscribed for more awesome videos like these. Check out some of our great videos that we've done in the past. But most importantly, and as always, stay snazzy.